Today we're talking about a sweet little compact concealed carry gun. This is the Springfield XDS 45 Auto. What's up, I'm Twiggy Wolf and today we're gonna talk about the Springfield XDS 45. This sweet little concealed carry is very compact. Feels really good in your hand. I definitely recommend the extension on the magazine because you get that much more to get your hand on it. Um, it is a single stack and this is the 45, um, but it's for being a 45 auto, this thing is super slender compared to like the Shield 9mm. Um, very, very compact. Um, almost like a nine millimeter um you've got great sights on this the trigger on this is really good so i'll show you here's the trigger here's the reset it's not bad i mean you do have quite a bit of travel on the trigger, but once it hits that wall, I mean, it's on it. It's not real mushy compared to like the Smith & Wesson triggers on the, the shield. I mean, you're almost instantly right on that wall and then break. Reset, pretty audible. I mean, it's a pretty loud click, which is really nice. I really, really like the sights on this though. But because this is a 45 auto and not a nine millimeter, it does have some pep to it. So when you're shooting, it does have a lot of power considering that the barrel is so short. Um, it, it did seem to pop up a lot when I was shooting and you'll be able to see that in the, the video of me at the range. Um, I was able to shoot the Mod 2 a lot better than this. I wasn't able to manage the recoil as well as I did on the Mod 2. It just, a um, little bit heavier, I guess. I, in my opinion, I just like the Mod 2 a little bit over this. Um, but this, if you want a great concealed carry gun, I really like the option of the grip safety and the trigger safety. I hate having those. Um, it's great for conceal. It's very light. Um, the sights are really good. The trigger, I love the triggers on the Springfields. Um, and this is very competitive with the shield and just a tad bit bigger than the Glock 43. Um, honestly, I'd probably choose the shield over the Glock 43 and the XDS, but that is just my personal opinion. Um, however, I do like the Mod 2 and the mid full size XD9 or the XD45. And they also do have the XDM. I did shoot a couple of those. Um, but the mid full size or the full size ones are really, really nice. I just really like the triggers on these Springfields. They're just super smooth. I really like that they all have the grip safeties on here. You can really get a handle on a lot of these. Um, to disassemble this, it's a little bit different than the Glock or the Smith & Wesson. So you'll lock it back. Your lever will actually go up. So you push in the front. <laughs> this one hasn't been apart very much. Um, I have cleaned it a few times, but I'm sure it'll get easier as you use it and the more you clean it. And you do have to pull the trigger. And then you'll pop that back down. The slide release, when you first get it, it's a little bit harder to pop down. So you've got kind of a harder slide release on this one. And then um, the takedown lever on that is, it will need some breaking in. 
as well as the spring too. The longer you shoot it, the easier it'll get to rack the slide. But other than that, this is a great gun. If you don't have strong hands though, it will take a little bit of getting used to to rack the slide, but it does have a lot of serrations on the slide so you can grip it. Personally, I really like to carry a 45 and the idea that this is super compact makes it really, really nice. But in my opinion, if you're looking for a 45 to carry that is not gonna be a huge chunk of metal, you know, inside your waistband or outside your waistband, I think this is your choice. Um, I would check this out. If you can go to the range and rent one, I would really see if that's right for you. I love the sights. I love how it shoots. Um, you know, I don't mind that this is so compact that the barrel is, was a 3.3 inch barrel. So it is kind of a, a real small barrel. Um, well, if you want to check this gun out for yourself, make sure to head down to your local gun range or gun store and put one in your hands as soon as you can. I love these Springfield XDs and the XDSs. So if you can, I'd recommend going and running one if possible um, or take a friend to the range that already has one. But once you put one of these little buddies in your in your hands, you're, you're probably going to want to go buy one. So thanks for watching. I'm Twiggy Wolf. If you want to see more shenanigans, head on over to my website, twiggywolf.com, and check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Well, I'm Twiggy Wolf, and I'll catch you guys later.